This is uh, a cone from a cedar tree. When I was leaving the seminary in Huntington after teaching there for 14 years, I was looking for a kind of a memento to take with me. And this was one that really struck me because it grew on a cedar. And cedars are big in the Bible, big trees in the Bible. Their wood is beautiful, it smells nice, has nice grain, and it lasts forever. But there's something much more important about this, about this pine cone, and that inside of it, there are still seeds. If all the cedar trees in the world were to be wiped out, that in here is the life for a new seed to come. That's what Jesus is telling us about when he talks about, about hope. We look at our world and we say there's so many things wrong with our world. So many, so much war, so much killing, so much hatred, so much prejudice, so much bigotry. And we look and we say, well, where is it changing? Where is anything different? We're not the first ones to ask that question. Jesus' followers in his own day asked him. After all, Jesus was healing people. He was telling people that God had sent him into the world to bring God's news, God's good news, God's love, God's peace. And his family said he was crazy, as we heard in the Gospels last week. Uh, people who didn't like him said that he, he was possessed by the devil. But Jesus says, never mind, don't worry about it. He says, because my faith and my love and my work of God is at work always, like a bush that's growing. If you look at it each day, nothing happens. If you plant a, 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 a something in the ground, you don't see it if you just watch it. But you come back later and you see there are signs of growth. And Jesus tells us that, that there are signs of growth. That just as there are signs of life in this cone, so in our world there are signs of his peace and goodness. And that we show that if we look around us and we see all the good things that people do, we get all the bad news. But think about the good news also of the help that people give to each other. Another thing that's going to be important is this, that just as there is life in this, there is life in you and in me. And God is asking, just as it would pop out of this if, these, if this cone opened, the seeds would pop out, he's asking that out of your life and mine would come our own bringing into the world his peace and his goodness and love. That's what hope is about. Hope means that we believe we're called to a life that's eternal, that we're called to life with God forever, that Jesus gives it to us, gives us the grace to do it, and that we're part of that great work in his world. That's hope, trusting in that. Think about it.